Yeah, so Neo is not doing that great as usual, at least not on the market. You could argue that the the company in itself, the performance and delivery of the cars are starting to look at least not as bad as it's been during part of the year, but the stock price is just horrible. I mean, you can see here that yeah, market cap at 12, 13 billion US dollar and we are way below the even like 2023's high, let alone, let's say the highs in, yeah, you can see here January of 21. So we are close to, very close to three years later and the stock is done like quite a bit compared to the all time high. But anyway, so enough of the stock price. We are investing for the fundamentals. So let's see on the fundament. Well, you can see here that uh, delivery numbers per month. So you can see January okay ish coming from 2022. Very good February. And then I think this was due also to that the fact that this year the Chinese holidays, I mean, some, some of the years is in January and some of the day, years it's in February. So yeah, you should probably take an average. So you would say that around 10,000. No, nothing bad in that sense. Again, 10,000 in March. But then in Q2, so in April and May, we see that uh, there's definitely a drop. And this was due to like basically just a few models being sold at this time since they were launching the updated models, uh, let's say the new revisions for 2023. And yeah, so that's why you could see much lower numbers because they were selling fewer models. And then you could see again a peak coming up, uh, first the uh, uptick in June and then in uh, July and August going very, very good. I mean, if they were able to hold these numbers for July and August, then I don't think the market would have reacted this way. But the issue is that then it's been going down again. Although you would say that it's not going down like to these levels, which is good. But yeah, I would definitely have expected much, much higher volumes if you ask me, like, let's say by beginning of 2023. And you can see actually that uh, the yellow number there is not what they're going to probably deliver. Nowhere near that. Much more likely they will deliver in December, I think, somewhere around, let's say, 15, 16,000 cars again. Maybe 18,000. You don't know. But again my expectation and probably a lot of people's expectation was that they would be close to 25 to 30,000 cars by December and to be honest November as well but again that's not going to happen so let's see we can see that in December uh, last week of December so the previous week the registrations were around 2,900 which is again I would say at this point since we are in December I would say it's not that great it's not awful, so it's not anything as bad as uh, you could see like in those months in April and May. But again, in my opinion, I would have expected solid 3,500 to 4,000 in December at the bare minimum. And they are not there. So, But again, it's not awful. So yeah, let's see what happens in next week. And usually the second week of the month, for some reason, it's lower. I think you could see that as well uh, in in November. You can see here, yeah. In 6th to 12th of November, again, they were like lower than the beginning. So, yeah, it's, it's difficult to see the trends, but you shouldn't take these numbers too seriously because these are registrations. The actual number differs quite a bit compared to the, let's say, the delivery. So you should assume that the delivery number is the same as the registration, uh, insurance registration numbers. Uh, there's quite a big difference. Not not huge, but it, there's a difference. You shouldn't count on these numbers fully. Let's have a look at the big thing that happened last week. So you could see that the earnings report and uh, I've made a table of some of the important numbers on the earnings ever since Q1 of 2021. And in most cases you can see an uptick and you can starting see that uh, revenue is starting to get into steady um, to two and a half billion. So this time it was 2.6 billion US dollar, which is it, it's good. I mean, it's an all time great number for NEO in that sense in revenue basis. Uh, vehicle sales again the best ever vehicle sales and then other sales is like ticking up slowly but surely it's ticking up i mean it's just under two uh, sorry just under 10 percent of the total sales and you shouldn't underestimate this one and you will see soon in one of the graphs that uh, yeah this number here is not fully following the revenue uh, one to one so there's definitely yeah you could say this part, if they manage to get this part of the revenue to let's say four, five, six hundred million in uh, a few quarters, that's definitely gonna steady the revenue on the total revenue. 
because this one is not fluctuating nearly as much as the the yeah let's say the vehicle sales which is fully dependent on delivery of the vehicles whereas this other sales is basically everything else the services they offer like with the uh, batteries i think and then all the merchandise and the neo houses that people that spend the money there and then i think the neo phone is as well included here so you could i mean in a few quarters maybe we are even gonna be possible to pass like one billion when i say few quarters i'm probably thinking at least five six quarters but uh, yeah good to see that there's some growth there and then you can see that the gross margin again is got some rebound so we went from one uh, percent to eight percent now really really good this was really important and i think like if this number wouldn't be increasing as much as it did from last previous two quarters i think we should have seen the stock going down even more but now that it's actually rebounding quite a bit and hopefully in the let's say two three quarters from now we are above 10 percent steadily that would be good and especially considering that the lithium carbonate uh, which goes into a huge part of the battery uh, this is basically a huge chunk of the battery cost and you can see that we are now clearly below the peaks that we had in 2022 and early 2023 and we are much more in line with let's say the levels yeah i mean as far as back of 2017 i would say so this is this is uh, definitely gonna contribute to to the on the positive side for the gross margin i think this is very interesting um so this is the revenue in in white the vehicle sales in uh, in green and then the other sales in in yellow and as you can see these are basically depending on the number of uh, vehicle deliveries so the revenue and especially especially the vehicle sales so the green line is definitely dependent on the number of cars they sell and you can see here that i've basically made uh, yeah 20,000 in uh, q1 of 21 and then it's now in the latest quarter going up to 55,000. And the latest, according to the earnings report, their estimations are about 47 to 49,000 for Q4. So again, not beating Q3, which is a bummer, I would say. I would have expected better, but most likely it will be just below Q3, which is basically the second, it's gonna be the second best quarter in NEO's uh, full history. But the interesting thing here is look at the drop here so you can see that this is q2 and q3 this year sorry q1 and q2 and the interesting one is this huge drop in total revenue and in vehicle sales but you can see that the other sales is not affected by that which is really important i mean if you can increase this yellow part of the revenue again this is like the the stuff that people buy in the neo houses or all, all these expensive houses at least you start to see some other money coming in which is important then i think the battery the battery service also yeah is calculated in here all the merchandise and the neo phone so this has the i mean this this is really important because this has the effect of in the longer term stabilizing the revenue so if you look let's say in two years time maybe this number is five six hundred even one billion and if that number is 1 billion per quarter, it's gonna, I don't know to be honest the margins at that time, but again, I don't think this is bad. And I really, really, I mean, it's difficult to see this, but once I plotted this on a graph, you can clearly see that there's, it's not depending on the vehicle sales now. It's basically as a service, the same way you could think about it, like Apple and their services on their Apple Watch and uh, all the all the cloud services that they offer. And just a quick uh, graph on the deliveries, and you can see, kind of steady growth uh, from q121 until let's say uh, late 22 and then quite a sharp growth late last year and then the issues in q1 and q2 this year and then again this giant leap in uh, basically more than doubling from q q2 to q3 2023 and now again kind of steady in yeah those uh, low f high 40 and uh, low 50000 and i think you should if you make a trend line here you can clearly see that okay we are not as bad as 23,000 as uh, q2 was and probably not as great as 55,000 so let's say if we meet in the middle and then just you know going forwards increasing a bit so you could say yeah the trend maybe would be at 35 to 40,000 cars and we are i would say still above the trend with 49,000 
So again, it's the even though the stock price is yeah taking a hit as usual at this point, I would say that not everything is as bad. And you have to remember that again, we are in a difficult financial market. People don't prioritize new cars, especially not electric cars that are expensive still. So if need, you can hold out for let's say another eighteen months with the balance sheet they have. Maybe we could start to see I don't know a hundred thousand cars per per quarters in let's say late twenty twenty five, and at that point with higher uh, gross margin we can see here that um, the the cost of sales is again depending on basically same as the number of vehicles sold, but the interesting part is the, the gross profit not good uh, from let's say late twenty two to late twenty three. But if the worst part is over, especially considering the lithium price coming down, and again, you could say that since the inflation is kind of turning down in most countries, and uh, yeah, people, the, the financial situation of the consumers getting better, at some point it has to get better. I mean, it cannot be as bad as it's been in the last 18 months or 12, 18 months at infinite. So at some point this will turn back to the better. And I think NIO has almost a good enough uh, balance sheet on the on the, yeah so they have enough cash on hand to survive this coming this coming let's say 18 months again in worst case they have another dilution but at some point i think when the tables turn they are in a good position but with all that being said i mean yeah although the stock price is on the cheap side especially based on the price to sales ratio because remember the market cap is at below let's say 13 billion US dollar. And in this latest earnings, we had a, a revenue of 2.6 billion. If you, let's say, as if you assume same kind of run rate for the coming full year, so next four quarters, that's 10 to 11 billion in revenue. And I think that's, that's quite cheap compared to the competition. Like Tesla is, I'm not sure exactly, but it's probably five, to, somewhere between five to 10 in price to sales ratio, maybe closer to five than 10 now. But anyways, that's gonna. I mean, that's that's yeah. The, I don't think this this stock is ex extremely expensive at this stage. But the risks are, and the risks are obvious with Neo. And I think like they live and die by the by the differentiation of the battery swapping. There's an added cost to the battery swapping, and we have to see. I mean, I want to see steady growth in terms of vehicle sales. I want to see at least. On average 60,000 cars for 2024 per quarter and if they manage to do that then there is definitely demand for new and it's probably not an issue it's probably a premium that the, the buyers of the car will pay so that's where I think we stand today difficult on the stock price the fundamentals are kind of starting to turn for the better again but I don't think we are out of danger. So be careful. And again, this is not investment advice. And yeah, see you in the next one.